Well, hello there. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see an implementation of uh, getting some weather data of any place around the world using some third party APIs. So there will be two, uh, two codes that I'll be walking you through. Uh, the first implementation will be on like just passing the passing a city name or a region name and uh, get the data of it. And uh, the second implementation will be like if you have a list of places uh, stored somewhere in a CSV file or something of that sort, then how you can read those data and um, save the obtained data in another CSV file. The implementation will be based on Python as it is evident in the title of the video. So we are going to use Python uh, and the request module to hit an external API and we'll be getting the information from that API. So let's get started. Yes, so uh, in order to get weather information data, uh, we are going to use this particular uh, portal that is available to us known as weatherapi.com. So it's pretty much simple. You can sign in for free. And once you sign in, you will be getting an API key and um, you can use the API Explorer to explore the response that the API is returning and get started. So once you sign up, you will land up in this screen. What you need to do is just copy this API key and uh, click on API Explorer. And you need to mention your API key. Okay, sorry. So I'll just go back. You know what? Let me just plain and simply copy it. So go to API Explorer, paste the API key is JSON. Here I will name it as Kolkata. And show the response. This is a response body that you get. And the same thing you can do using Postman as well. So if you want to do using Postman, you need to copy the base URL, which is this uh, api.weatherapi.com slash v1 slash current dot JSON and pass the key value uh, that is your API key, the queue that is the location and AQI uh, as the air quality index data as query parameters. So what I will do is that I will open Postman. I have already uh, set it up. So that's a base URL and, and as query parameters and passing queue, which is location. Uh, Shiliguri, that is the place where I stay. AQI, the air quality index data, I have set it as no. You can set it as yes as well if you want that information. So once I send it, and then I'll be able to uh, obtain the same uh, response body that was uh, showcased over here. The same response body. The reason why I showed you using Postman is simply when you do it using Postman, you kind of get a clarity as in how it is actually happening and it will be much easier for you as well to implement this in uh, in an actual code so if you have a close look at the json you'll notice one thing that this is just not a simple json it's a nested json structure so the uh, for example in this case it's location as a key and under the field location we have another json which contains multiple key value pairs so let me let's get started with the code this is the code base that we have uh, uh, we have written so i have used the request module to trigger the api date time again i have used it for the for that a bit advanced implementation which i'll cover in some time uh, i have defined the base url which is uh, basically your the the one that i just showcased it's http api.weatherapi.com slash v1 slash coin.json the key which is my api key and the location uh, which has obtained silly query so define a function get weather data uh, city name as a parameter parameters i'm passing the key uh, which is your api key and q as your city name uh, here you can also put up location uh, since i'm actually calling this from here that's why i've mentioned this particular parameter so then you just trigger the response uh, and the request it's a get api so you pass the base url 
which is a base URL and uh, since the parameters being passed as query parameters in get request so you pass the params which is a, a definition followed by your uh, dictionary of parameters once you trigger this then you'll be getting your response JSON uh, which is your actual returned data so let's just print this response JSON and see whether we are actually getting the data or not so what I'll do is that I'll simply comment these lines and I'll return response uh, JSON and I'm gonna run this code Python uh, weather data simple dot pi yes so you're essentially getting the entire JSON data as we have received in Postman earlier so now uh, what I will do is that uh, all the data fields that I'm interested I'm gonna just store those information uh, so I'm interested in region, country, temperature, the UV level, and the precipitation. So if you, let me just bring it up on the screen, your uh, response. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Okay. I think I don't have much of a space to play it out here. Anyways, so essentially we have location under location. I am interested in the name of the place, the region. So essentially, uh, I, I need to follow a nested structure and under current, I'll be getting the temperature in degrees Celsius. And uh, I think the precipitation is somewhere down over here. Yes, precipitation in millimeter. So these are the data that I'm interested. So how you can obtain that JSON is that since it's a dictionary object, uh, essentially this entire thing is a Python dictionary. So I have created another uh, object uh, returned named as return data, uh, which is a dictionary type object. I defined region response JSON is the name of the variable where I'm storing the response. The location is the first level, uh, the first key value pair. So location is result in is another JSON. That's why I put up the second key name, basically the first level nested structures key name. Uh, similar goes for country, uh, temperature uh, C, which is basically temperature in degrees Celsius, current and temp underscore C, which is the key, uh, name of the key for temperature in degrees Celsius, even precipitation. Very much simple implementation, nothing complicated, no rocket science, simple implementation of getting the weather data. I'm going to save this code. Uh, let me just expand it a bit, clear the terminal. And execute the same oops oh yeah so i written response json where i should have returned returned data uh clear okay yeah so region west bengal country india temperature uh c uv this precipitation this but i think i'm missing the city name yep i'm missing the city name uh, so let me just put up that as well city name is essentially the uh, city in this particular parameter that I'm sending so again when I'm executing the code I should be getting the city name as well and yeah that's it in the second implementation so this was a much more simple implementation of just to showcase how it works but in real life scenario you might want to you know like load the list of cities that you're interested in a csv file uh, upload it to a server and then your server will be processing that csv file to get the data and generate a resultant csv file or simply overwrite that update uploaded csv file to uh, to get the data uh, i mean with the updated data so here i have made an implementation of the same so i have firstly uh, written down the city name in a CSV file, Kolkata, Delhi, Seoul, New York, Bengaluru, and Shiliguri. I think I have named it correctly. And in the weather, uh, yes, I'm going to close this. In this particular example, I am reading the file names and I'm using the pandas uh, uh, toolkit to form a data frame. 
and essentially write it to another CSV file. So how I am doing this, I'm not going to go into the details of Pandab uh, because that's not the scope of this video. But essentially, if you have a look uh, and just let you know, all this code will be uploaded in GitHub. By the time the video is live, you will also see the GitHub uh, URL in the description uh, where all of this code has been shared. So you can also just uh, clone it and use it according to your wishes. No worries on that. So firstly, I have uh, read the CSV file and stored it in a data frame. Uh, I have created an empty list for storing all the JSON that I'm getting uh, back from the API. I'm iterating through all the rows that is being uh, extracted in the from the data frame. I am passing that uh, data, basically I'm passing the city name uh, in the get weather data function that I have created earlier. It's the same function from the previous file where I get, I'm getting the return data as an um, as a JSON object. Um, then what I'm doing is simply the I'm I'm just appending the city name as well in that in that particular data frame, and then I'm simply appending the resultant JSON, the dictionary that I'm getting. I'm just simply appending it in a list that I've created in line number twenty-seven. Once the list has been created, I am uh, simply forming it into a pandas data frame. Then I'm creating a file name, and then I'm simply using the two underscore CSV method of the pandas data frame. To convert that to a particular uh, to a CSV file, so that's the whole process. Read it, uh, read the CSV file, save in the data frame, iterate through all the rows, simply uh, uh, like pass the city name to the get with the data function, get the data, save it in the list form and of data frame, save the resultant data frame DF2 in a to a CSV file by generating the file. Name. So I'm going to execute this piece of code, Python, weather data, I think the name is file advanced.py. So it might take a bit of time since there are multiple cities. Okay, it has executed. That was quite fast. So these are city names and the resultant file is this. West Bengal, India, uh, 20.0, 1.0 precipitation. Uh, no, that's UV, the temperature is 20, the UV is 1, precipitation 0 0.0, and the city name is Kolkata. And same goes for all. Uh, I think I have misspelled uh, the letter, uh, I mean the city name sealed, it, it is showcasing somewhere in Uttar Pradesh. But I meant of South Korea. But anyways, that's doable as of now. Sorry for that. And that's how the data is getting saved in a CSV file. So it's pretty simple. Like you read the data from this CSV file and you generate the data in a resultant CSV file. And now this can be used for some kind of operation for whatever business logic you want to perform. Um, that's it. Nothing else. Uh, the, all this code is available in GitHub. You can simply clone the repository and get started. Uh, in terms of IoT, this kind of implementation is kind of necessary, more or less, multiple times, simply because of two factors. The first factor being that uh, let's say you have developed a weather session, then we can use uh, uh, like the already available APIs that are available over the internet to uh, tally the data to see how your weather session is functioning uh, versus the data data obtaining from some official agency. Secondly, in multiple scenarios, in multiple web apps, we need to display the weather information of the particular place. In those cases also, this is pretty useful. So that's it. That's the whole purpose of this video. I hope you like this video. If you've liked it, then please uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. More videos will be coming up in the future. Definitely related to Python, IoT, machine learning, computer vision and stuffs. Uh, thanks again and have a good day. Bye-bye.